everyone. Uh, yes, I've got my glasses on and yes, we're in a different place. Today's Sunday Sews is going to be me sewing together a series of videos because I've had to record this in snippets between everything else. So bear with me as you see different outfit changes, different location changes and we'll just get through it together. So welcome if you are new and hello if you're one of my lovely existing followers. It's another Sunday Sews with me, Sam, Sequin Girly Creates. This week I've got lots of exciting things. I want to tell you about a small channel shout out, um, the things that I'm up to, the things that I've done, the things I'm going to do. And of course, if you stay on, there will be the reveal of who has won the giveaway prizes, plural. So that will be at towards the end of the vlog because I've got to wait because I started recording this before the giveaway finishes. So I will record that at the end. And this is how you find out. And I'll go through it all with you when I do that and what you need to do if you win. So let's start with, um, now I know I do a Sunday Sews, not a Friday Sews. Um, it just messes with my mind if I did a Friday Sews on a different day of the week. So that's why I call mine a Sunday Sews. Um, but uh, one of the lovely things about Friday Sews is the lovely lady who created it came up with a series of questions that um, can be discussed. So I'd seen that and I thought that's a really lovely idea. So I'm going to ask you at the beginning, I'll ask it to you again at the end, and then I'd love you to drop a thought comment in the chat. So my question for you is, if you had to sew with one type of fabric forevermore, um, what would it be? So would it be stretch, woven, seersucker, scuba, uh, cotton lawn, viscous? You can be as specific as you like. But what fabric, if you could only sew with one type of fabric forevermore, what would you sew with? Um, I'll tell you my answer. Um, <laughs> you might be guessing if you follow me. It actually isn't Jersey. You'd think it would be, but it isn't. If I could only sew with one fabric forevermore, which I'd find hard, I probably would go with Viscous Chalet. I really like that fabric. I like the feel of it. I like how I feel in it. Um, it is a tricky one. I do want to say jersey, but no, I'm going with viscous chalet. If I had to choose one fabric forevermore, that's what I would pick. Um, let's do small channel shout out next. Okay, so small channel shout out is, just try that a minute, that's better is Chrissy Conley. I will link her below. Thank you to one of my YouTube subscribers who left a comment on my last vlog saying, I know you love to give a small channel shout out. Let me tell you about somebody I've loved. That's the best way to do this is that we just keep the circle going. Chrissy is a woman after my own heart. She has an entire episode about a bright floral frilled shirt and it's lovely the way she's done the two halves of the colour. So do go over, give Chrissy some love. I think you'll really enjoy her style and she's got a great video where she talks about her favourite sewing patterns as well. So that's this week's small channel shout out. Oh, what next? I've got a list of so much. So last week when you were watching me, I had already had my social, but I recorded it before. We're in a bit of a timeline slip there, aren't we? Anyone who watches Loki, I love a bit of Marvel and Loki. Um, so it was the second to last social of this year and it was wonderful. We had a great time. We had some lovely new people there that I met through other things so hello to Claire and Helen and uh, we had some of our lovely great people that come every time like Leslie and Mary. Mary brought her friend Moira along so it was brilliant. Sophie wasn't feeling great but she did still cook us a cake so thank you to Sophie. She cooked us a lemon drizzle and it was delicious. We had a raffle as usual and it was the gorgeous um, autumnal 
um, fabric that I got. So I got some from JB Fabrics, three meters of it for the raffle prize winner, and it was the one that I'd made the dress out of. I'll put it in here. I couldn't resist sharing that with someone else. And we have one more social left for the year on the 3rd of December. It's all full, but very soon I'll be releasing the dates for the beginning of next year. And the final one of this year, we're going to do a Secret Santa and some other bits as well. So I can't wait to tell you how that goes. We have one more virtual social of the year on the 26th of November there are a few tickets left if you want to come they are when I recorded this um, so if you do want one I'll put the link below and it's just a great way again to to just sit and listen to sewing friends while you're sewing you don't have to join in with the chat if you don't want to you're welcome to you might just want us there as company almost like a radio station but it's really up to you um what works for you but that's on the 3rd of december is my in-person social which is full 26th of november 1 p.m to 6 p.m is the virtual and there's a few tickets left for that and the reason I get my dates muddled up is because on the 25th of November, I'll type all this below, is a shopping trip to JB Fabrics in Slough. If you're coming, you can meet us there. If you let me know, they're going to help with parking because then I can help you to not worry about having to park. Also, if you're coming from a certain area, I might know someone else coming from that area and people offering lifts, etc. But do you know what? If you wake up on Saturday the 25th of November in the morning and feel like coming fabric shopping, just turn up. We'll be there from 10 and they're uh, looking forward to having us. So no pressure. You can decide right at the last minute and just come and meet us there. Let's have a look. So we've done that, we've done that, we've done that. Right, let's, before I have to move on and, and do other things, you can see things in the background, they're coming. But let me tell you, oh, I've told you about the virtual social um, giveaways at the end. I'm just checking that. So 12 days of Vlogmas is something that I'm going to do with Agatha, who are linked below as well. Um, I mentioned on my last episode, trying to do Vlogmas every day for me just doesn't work. I don't want to give you that poor quality content I don't want to be rushing and I also don't want to not enjoy this so what I've done is put it out there and lots of other people are joining in we're going to do the 12 days of vlogmas and there will be somebody each day for you so we'll do like a little schedule and it means you can still get vlogmas from us but you'll get a variety of small channels um and people rather than me <laughs> every day which I think might be better for everyone anyway if you want to take part in that and you haven't let me know, do let me know. Oh, what should we do next? I think I'm going to talk to you about some Christmas sewing. I um, have done a bit of shopping, but most of it is selfless shopping, which is just again the great use to shop, isn't it? Um, so I grabbed this from the lovely First of Fabric. So thank you to Tamlin for the nice message inside look at that there and then that on the outside so the question is do I have this on the outside and this on the inside or the other way around I'm going to make something for my stepdaughter out of this who is 14 nearly 15 she loves a snuggly sweatshirt so I thought this was a great color it is a bit lighter in real life but Day is a shocking weather day so that's going to be great I can't wait to make her something with that I also grabbed this cuffing this tubular cuffing in this dusky pink because coming from pound fabrics I have some dusky pink sweatshirting and I thought like the blue and the dusky pink together would be quite nice and of course, yes, I got something for myself. So um, it's this amazing fuchsia cable net. That's going to be a Marlowe cardigan or a Southbank sweater dress. Uh, one of the two, but I haven't seen this fuchsia pink cable net many places. So when I saw that, that had to fall in the basket as well. I will grab and show you in a bit the cuddle fleece that I've bought from Dawson Fabrics which is to make my other half so if you're watching switch off now 
um, I'm going to make him, I hope he's switched off, um, a udi. So I've got amazing cuddle fleece, which actually is really soft on the inside. And I was going to put Sherpa on the inside, um, which I've ordered as well from Pound Fabrics, which is coming today. But it's got planets all over it, so I will grab it and show you in a minute. Um, and as I say, some other sweatshirting bits as well. So looking forward to sewing those up as part of a gift for November as well. Never made an Udi before, so if anyone, you know the kind I mean. I know Udi is a brand, but like those big hooded, like, it's like a wearable blanket, isn't it? Um, if anyone knows a great free pattern or tutorial, do let me know because... Um, I'm going to be doing that and I had a good look because my stepdaughter's got an official one we got her last year there's like no noticeable seam so I feel like it's mostly sewn with the right sides together and then turned through and then the last bit stitched up all of it seems pretty straightforward apart from the hood I've never sewn a hood so that's going to be interesting so let me know if you've done one if you can recommend a good pattern or vlog or anything like that that would be great my gift to november because that started there's the whole vlog tour going on so do watch people's i was watching christine's the other day she had some great makes for your pooches so if you want to make something for someone with a dog then she's got some brilliant tips as well um mine is coming on the 18th so next weekend um and i've tried to come up with something different some other ideas that you might not have had already because sometimes it can feel well, the way I see it is you can only make so many stockings and things for family and you can't make any more, so you need something else. So I try to come up with something else, if you see what I mean. Right, I need to go for now. Right, well, yesterday didn't turn out how I expected, so I did go off from work and I didn't manage to get a lunch break where I could do any more filming. And then by the time I got to the evening, I just don't know what happened yesterday ran away from me i don't know if you ever get that sometimes i get that and i'm just quite realistic that when days go like that there's just no point beating yourself up it just happens so here i am for the next part of this vlog different outfit different day and um I'm wearing a ready to wear but it's vintage so it's new to me it includes a matching skirt and of course I've got a roll neck underneath an old one but a goodie that I got from M&S many years ago. I said I would show you the fleece for the Udi. remember other half I hope you're not watching here it is with planets all over it that's the oh trying to decide which is the front I think that's the front look at that I wish you could again had feeler vision because it's super soft. Oh, I can see loads of fluff coming off that. And I got some Sherpa in this to try. That's super soft too. But the good news is the Sherpa has arrived on the inside of that from Pampa, which is navy. You don't need to see that. But someone was asking me about stretch corduroy in um, one of my vlogs. They left a message. Well, it's arrived. Here it is. So this is from Pound Fabrics. So it looks like this. It has stretch this way and lots of stretch that way. So I'm going to make a Sirocco jumpsuit with this and I will let you know what I think of it. So you might want to hold off getting it till I give you the verdict, but it's here. As you, if you remember, I wanted to, now I'd made two practice Sirocco's, I wanted to make one in a firmer fabric that felt more like I could wear it sort of every day but out nicely. And then a bit like with the first of fabric order, um, something fell in the basket for me and it was cable knit but it's in this plum. I thought the plum and the really bright pink together would work well with this like as the cuff or like the next band. So we'll see how that goes. Also I want to show you, I picked up this from the swaps table I feel like this was in a So Haley Jane box. So it's double gauze. I think Ruan of the Yorkshire So Girl dyed hers like a blue, I think. But I thought this would make a nice top for someone for Christmas. Um, I think that's probably, yeah, there's a meter there. So yeah, I'm gonna make someone a gift with that. So I pointed to the stripy thing. This is the stripy thing. I 
was umming and ahhing about what to do about an advent calendar. I normally get myself one. Um, so this year, uh, lovely Christine at Gemini Stitches let me know that Snag Tights had one, which I did not know. I know there was a lot of sewing ones, but honestly, they felt like a lot of money. And also, I was worried that they were bits that I had already or didn't wouldn't necessarily use. But I know with snag tights, I wear the tights. I have a pair on today, a red pair on. So I thought I'd just open the out. Ooh, I'd open the out a bit with you now. So you choose your snag tight size. So I went for a C. Sometimes I'm a D, sometimes I'm a C. I hope I made the right decision there. Well, that's a lot of rustling, isn't it? My goodness, it's a hanging thing. Oh, number one's just fallen out. Oh my goodness, so you get like a reusable hanging thing. Let me just show you. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at the pictures on it. And there's something in each pocket, so three, six, nine, twelve. But in the final one, there's two things. Okay, so I've got 20 days to wait till December arrives. And then I think I might do one every other day. Yeah, that might work for me. This is too exciting to know what's in these, isn't it? This felt like I worked, did the maths for this. This one felt like a reasonable one and I know I'll wear them. So that is exciting. I'm gonna be hanging that up somewhere. And then that'll be great storage for things afterwards as well. So, hmm, happy days. I did see the first for fabrics had an advent calendar. I think the window to order it has gone, but I thought that was quite exciting as well. Right, okay, let's talk about makes. So there's some that I haven't talked about and some that I have. So let's do that now. Oh, hide that bag over there. <laughs> yes, these cushions are strategically placed to hide things. Um, I shared with you some fabric I bought from First of Fabrics a while ago that was very reasonably priced. It was this gorgeous pink. So I have made a Freya top in this and fully on the overlocker. If you've already cut it out, I reckon you're talking, once you've got the hang of these, 20 minutes to make one of these. So I did a pink one and I did the green one and I held off making the purple. They're just a perfect, like under this, this green would go perfectly under here, wouldn't it? So if you don't make yourself like basics, I'd be interested why. I, I find that actually making basics in the colours I want really works for me. It was one of the things that motivated me quite on early on to want to sew with jersey was making basics in in the fabrics that I wanted to go under things because I wasn't able to find what I was looking for. I remember a couple of years ago searching and searching for a really bright pink. Now if you watched my autumn sewing catch up of where I've got to I did mention these and if you saw last week's Sunday Sews I showed you the toile for the Seasons of East Winter in London trousers and I needed to resolve the elephant ears. There was just too big a curve for me compared to my hip around the, sorry, compared to my waist around the hip area. So I've made these in this gorgeous fabric and what I did was with these, I'd cut them out the actual pattern size so I actually stitch and I thought I would keep it in there to show you that's the original line out here there then I did that and then I did that so you can see the huge difference at that area and then tapered it and I tapered it a long way on these because they are wide legs so I made sure it was a good tapering in and I did that on both sides and as I say, there is an invisible zip. I'm very happy with that. So these are a perfect like transitional piece. I love this fabric, which by the way is from Ammo Threads. It's got a slight stretch to it, um, which is perfect for um, like a pair of trousers, a little bit of give. So I can't wait to style these up and wear these. And I also made a pair in green and I couldn't finish these at the social because I had to order a green zip, which was really annoying. I, I did um and ah about putting a navy one in, but I thought, no, that won't look good. 
um, and so this is a viscous linen which I got from a rainbow fabrics and again this time I actually tapered a bit off as I cut the pattern and I was very happy with that I didn't change that but what I did do is I found the waist was a little wide because every fabric works differently when you sew it up so I actually took a slightly more um, a couple about four millimeters more of the darts at the back and that's worked perfectly so I'm just going to finish these off um, and yep I'm happy with these too so it's it was one of the things I said wasn't it is to find a trouser that's not an elasticated trouser but that's like comfy I would like to do a fly front trouser I think that would be a good challenge so I've been thinking about my make nine and I was thinking this year I did fabrics, mostly fabrics, and a pattern that I wanted to use. I've actually got one left. I've got two months to go. Um, it's not bad, is it? Um, next year, I'm thinking for my Make 9, it's going to be like techniques. So it might be like a fly front zip, welt pocket. So I think it'd be really good to, to push myself to try those things. Um, other things I've been making... Oh, there we go. So I got some requests from people on Insta and on YouTube to make a vlog about how I did like the ruffle neck on my myosotis hack uh, dress and also the piping. So I've been working on that and I wanted to show you the things that I've been making so that you can see what's coming in that vlog. That vlog should be out on Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm almost there with it. So I can't wait to share that with you. So here is the neck on this. Um, I, can't, I couldn't wait to share this. So if you follow me on Insta, you will have seen this already. So piping here. This was meant to be, like I was saying, a summer top, um, oh, summer. an autumn slash winter top to wear. So with like the trousers and things. But now I've made it. I want to get more fabric and make it into a dress. Help me, I'm obsessed with dresses. Um, so that's that one. And then I took the Paula workwear jacket. This is going to be in the details vlog as well. And I added a bit in at the front here. And I'm really happy with how this turned out. This is, it's, it's like, a, it almost feels like a pajama shirt, but in the nicest possible way. And now I'm thinking, do I want more of this, which is from JB Fabrics, which I'm going shopping to in two weeks time. Do I want more of this to make trousers? Do I make like a co-ord? Um, let's just imagine wearing this as pyjama. Um, and then this fabric. So this is a patina blouse hack and it's not quite finished. I'm getting in a right old tangle here with what's happening here yoke on the back and reshaped the yoke which of course then included reshaping the piece underneath because you can't forget that you need to reshape the piece to attach to the yoke adding a small yoke on the front and then detail so let's start with the front so I did this at the front this on the sleeve just from here to here and then I shaped the yoke can you see and look, I changed the direction of the fabric as well, which I also did on the front yoke. Just trying to decide how to finish the cuff. I pinned the front in place, working out whether I need it to be real buttons or not, so that I can put buttons on. Oh my goodness, I don't want buttons. I think green buttons, actually. And then I've done a frill on the bottom, but I'm thinking about doing another one below that. So that is a pretty amazing dress that I am looking forward to wearing, particularly on a very dull grey day. Let's talk about what's coming next. So I mustn't get distracted with new shiny things. <laughs> so it's time for this guy. This is his turn this weekend. So the back is like this. So I'm quite happy with the back. I feel like this is going to be super sheddy as I sew. Just look at that coming off there, look. Um, I want to decide on the direction of the um, stripes, of how I use them. I was deciding on whether I want sleeveless or sleeved. I feel like if I was going to wear it at home when I'm chilly, sleeveless would be good because I've definitely noticed I wear sort of 
sleeveless when I just want a bit of extra warmth on my body but if I want to wear this out then sleeved would be good what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go but I will reappear because it will be giveaway draw time I'm off now to do some unexciting houseworky bits like cleaning windows and the stuff we have to do so that we can get to the good bit. Oh, I'll catch up with you in a bit. Right, everyone, part three of this vlog. So now I've got this over the top of my shirt and I'm in a different location because it is time for the giveaway. So first of all, I thought I'd show you what people can win depending on where in the world they are. So number one, is a year's subscription to Stash Hub. And that's an app for those of you who don't know where you can organize your fabric, notions, sewing patterns. You can plan projects, they're constantly updating it. So it's a whole year's subscription to the Stash Hub Plus. Um, so that's up on offer. So if you're one of my um, uh, followers from New Zealand or Australia or the US, you can have that as your prize. Then the next prize that I have is two bits of fabric that you'll get. Yes, you do recognize them. They're fabrics that I have, but I bought extra as giveaway. And in that, you'll, with that, you'll also get some goodies. So there's like some amazing uh, pins like this. So you'll get a little selection and uh, you might get a bag or something in there as well. There you go. So that's, that's the second prize that there is. And then another prize I've got is the ready to sew kit, which I'll now show you. It's this gorgeously soft fabric and um, they look like parasols. And there is the regalia blouse pattern that's in there. The thread that you need, lovely little pin badge and um, interfacing and all the things you need to create that. And this is a little miss so and so box and then there'll be another prize which will just be a little few goodies in there as well so in a minute i'm going to do one two three four names and the first person will be the the the, the main person and i'll jot them down as i do it and then i'll send you one of these and as i say if you are someone abroad you'll get the stash up if it happens that I get two people abroad, I'll just work it out and I'll solve it. Don't worry. Now, reminders, if your name comes up, I will put you in the uh, blurb, the comments of this vlog. But you will need to contact me at, at southernsocial at gmail.com. I'll write that in the comments as well. Now, I didn't quite get the thousand subscribers on Instagram. I was only 15 away. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to do uh, a little thing on my Kofi account where I have put up some digital items that you can get and I'm going to make them free slash donation only to everyone. And I'll put that on Instagram as well to say thank you. So there's like digital um, downloads you can get of sewing planner of like a year planner, uh, sewing labels. There's a couple of other things. I'll put pictures in while I'm talking of that as well. So they're available um, to everyone so that you can all have a thank you from me. And so alongside the giveaway for everyone, there's something that you can all go and get as part of my thank you. And thank you to everybody who tried to get me to the thousands uh, followers on Instagram. I just didn't quite make it. So I thought I'd do that thank you instead. So without any further ado, we need to do the um, finding out who the winners are. So let's ha hope this um, goes to plan. Right. OK, so here we go with finding out who the winners are. So let's spin the wheel. Congratulations, Jane. I have definitely had comments from you before. 
if you are in the US, uh, don't worry, we will make this work. Congratulations. Let's spin again. Congratulations to Leslie Gibson. All right, let's do the next one. Congratulations, so Sarah Stitch. And here we go with the final one. Congratulations to Christine Bradley. Okay, so four winners. I will work this out. I don't know where in the world you are, but please drop me an email and they will I will they will wing their way a present to excuse me, a present to you. So that is the end of today's vlog. <laughs> it's been a really bitty one. I'll tell you what, it's a challenge to edit that all together. But um, I'd like to say a huge thank you again to everybody and watch out for later in the week when I will release the pattern details blog showing you how to do the piping and the ruffled neck, etc. And also don't forget my question that I would love to hear an answer from you from, which is if you could only sew with one fabric for the rest of your time sewing, what fabric would that be? And even though I still want to say Jersey, I am not. I'm going with Viscous Shally. Have a great rest of the weekend. Bye.